The final thing I want to tell you about is iterators. So we were very worried when and we were doing the design of Clue about what to do with this kind of structure, which is in fact something you really you know, want to do. What's the point of having a collection object? You gather together all the elements and then you want to do something with them. And typically that takes the form of a for loop. Okay, so in the, uh, and, and, and given the mechanisms I've described for you so far, there are only two solutions that we could see. One of them was you could destroy the collection. So I might have a select operation for sets that removes elements and this way I could go through the set and iterate over it, except that I maybe didn't want to destroy the set because I might have wanted to do something with it later. The other thing you could do is you could complicate the abstraction, so I could turn it into an ordered set. This would give me a way of iterating through it, but it's not a good idea to complicate abstractions. You'd rather stick with the simplest abstraction you can think of. So in the summer of, I believe this was 1975, uh, I took my group to CMU to visit um, Bill Wolf and Mary Shaw, and this was the three students I showed you. Um, and they described to us some work they were doing on what they referred to as generators. And generators are a little bit like the way that Java handles except, uh, iterators. You know, they had a few operations. They were tied to a, a, a for statement. And uh, various, you know, things that were going on in the for statement were related to particular calls of operations on this generator. And we could see that this was going to be a way of us solving the problem with iter that we were looking at, except that we thought it was an ugly solution. And so on the plane flying home from Carnegie, Russ Atkinson invented iterators. <laughs>